Hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of gaps that appear after the data date for activities that are in progress in Primavera P6. Let me demonstrate the problem we have. Um, I'm talking about. So in this example, I've got a simple dummy schedule, it's just a pretty straightforward schedule, all sequentially linked. So let's assume everything is in let's um, add actual student. So the start milestone has been completed. Dummy one, you can see that has been completed. Dummy two, let's say this activity is in progress. At the start date, say it's 40% complete. We got five days remaining. Now, uh, to schedule this and the data date to at today the 15th. You notice this is the gap I'm talking about. So this gap normally appears when the activity calendar it's it's not 24 hours a day. If the calendar were 24 hours a day and you have a gap, it's usually out of sequence logic. But if the calendar is not a 24 hour day calendar, then it's either out of sequence logic or a problem with your time period. So let's look at, because this is a simple schedule, can't be out of um, sequence logic, but we can verify that. An easy way to verify out of sequence logic, you, you check the predecessors of your activity. If any of them, if the early start date of any of the predecessors is greater than the data date, then you know that predecessor is out of sequence. But in this case, our data date is the 15th of August and our single predecessor also has an early start date 15th of August. So it's not out of sequence logic problem. It has to do with the time period. So we go to user preferences. Now, under the dates tab, we need to, it's showing do not show time. When updating my schedules, I always want to show time so that I know what I'm dealing with. Because the Primavera database works with hours, not days. So the dates that days that are displayed in your in, in, in the layout is just a conversion using the factors and um, the time period factors. So I normally go for 24 hour um, time period and I always show minutes. That's when updating. Before I issue the schedule, I'll take out the time period, except it's a site schedule where they work 24 hours and they need to see the start and finish times. So now we've enabled the time period. If you go back to schedule, you will notice that the current start date is 15th August, which is fine, but the time period is 0-100 hours. But our calendar, I'm using a standard week calendar, which is eight hour day and it starts at 0800 hours and ends at 1700 hours. So this gap that appears here is the difference between this data date, which is the 0800 hours and the 0800 hours when the remaining activity starts. So to solve this, to remove this gap, all you need to do is align the, the time of your data date to your calendar start time. So if your calendar starts at 6 a.m., your data date should also go for 6 a.m. If your calendar is, starts at 10 a.m., your time also should also should, should 10 a.m. So like in this case, my calendar starts at 8 a.m. So if I select it, schedule, the gap disappears. That's you. So we need to do, go back to user preferences and select do not show time. Now your schedule is good to go. You can issue this. And like I said, this only happens when you're not using 
when you're now using a 24 hour day calendar if it's a 24 hour day calendar because the 100 hours will make a dip it's it's the start time for a 24 hour calendar anyway so there you go like i said this is a quick tip and i hope you enjoyed it take care see you next time